Yeah. Now it's time for multi-platforming and Wombat's Overwatch Onslaught. I love Overwatch. I know you're excited about the summer games it's that's my, started. I have uh, I have um, Cowboy Guy in the He's bathing here. suit. Did you see him? No, I didn't see him. Uh, he had his uh, barbecue. I got on. Grim Reaper Guy uh-huh. in his lifeguard outfit. Is that one of them? No. no? <laughs> and I have uh, all the women in bikinis. Isn't that basically it? <laughs> Surprisingly, I don't think... They have women in bikinis in this game. Well, that's why Shipwreck doesn't have this game. Oh. <laughs> so you're <Maybe>. not right. <laughs> uh, So some big, I guess the big news in like in the gaming journalism sphere is this IGN reviewer got caught plagiarizing his review for Oh Dead Cells, which we just talked about. Uh, and he got fired because it was seemed pretty clear that he blatantly copied some other. Yeah, he he did the classic just switching around the stri- the sentence structure. Like he didn't got even it off a YouTube one. video actually. Yeah. Well, yeah, but he one of them. Yeah, he did. Yeah. He, but he did YouTube as well, right? Or yeah, whatever IGN videos this, was. Yeah, he did. Oh, okay. Yeah, he did. So the video review re- review as well. But yeah, it's just the the type of thing that every person tries to do once in their life, where they they take something and. You're, you're like doing a book report or like that's, something for school and you rearrange the order of I the I understand words. that. That I totally get. Okay? You're in school. You're young. You're, you don't, you're not smart. You make a mistake. You plagiarize something. You do it, you're writing about something you don't really care about. You don't care about writing a book report. This guy got a job in, in reviewing games, which for a lot of people, that's like a dream or a big deal. And his reaction to getting his dream job is, I'm gonna just steal reviews from other people. Like I don't, I can't even be bothered to either to play the game. I don't know if he was he even playing the game. Well, we have no way he, of knowing. We have no way of knowing that. But uh, he he claims that the reason it happened was because he likes to do a lot of research and read other reviews and watch YouTube and. Do all of that. That's a bad way to criticize that, anything, a, by the way. It's a really – like when I was writing reviews for the site like five years ago before my daughter was born, um, I would specifically not seek out other people's opinions on stuff because it filters into what you think when you're writing, whether, sure. you, mm-hmm. whether you think it or not. But this was just – you could tell he had something open on one one screen. One tab here. So, right. Yeah. Um, but he he issued an apology video. Kind of. <laughs> he, he made a video. He made a video that was supposed to be an apology. It was like there were circumstances and I'm sorry that it happened. He doesn't but admit to doing anything. He doesn't anything. admit to anything. No, he doesn't admit to any wrongdoing. And he blamed the, the guy who wrote the article about him for chasing clicks. And then challenged the guy to find more instances of plagiarism. And the guy did and he was successful. And he put, found like two more. And they were like clear examples. I don't know. People are weird. I don't even understand. And then he took his video down. And then he took the video down. That was, yeah. Just. I don't know what the next step is there in the in the process. Like you're not going to get a job in writing about video games. No, or, his next step is he's going to be selling. He's going to be in sales. He's like working if, the gap. Even if you got caught this one time, all you have to do is admit to it. Say, hey, I had some personal stuff going anything, on. I had a deadline. Any anything to just <laughs> it, own up to it, and then you can go about about like rebuilding your character and everything. That's better than goading on the reporter who found out that you messed up in the first place, and trying to say all reviewers do this because that was kind of part of his video as well. <laughs> oh man, yeah, you mean all reviewers don't do it? It's not like one master review, and then they all and just, they all just, just, they just copy. You feel that way sometimes when you read them, but it's it's that's because the PR yeah. aspect. Like they send you sheets of like I got yeah I have, points, mm-hmm. and like these are the key features. Like okay, there's a review kit that comes right. With if you're reviewing usually. Madden, they're gonna tell you like bullet points of like okay, this year we put in like. No huddle offense or whatever. So every review is going to mention that they put in no huddle offense right. because the PR has fed them that. Right. So they're. I, I, I did see, see a PR person. Did you see that on Twitter? There's a PR person who was saying, I don't want to defend the guy, but just like you said, we do send out review kits and sometimes, like, I don't know the situation here, but we do give people, like you said, bullet points and sometimes that gets regurgitated. 
But that which would have can, been something to mention in the to, video yeah. when you're making your apology video. Yeah, this wasn't the case there. Yeah, no. It, like, yeah. Oh, these seem similar, but they're not. These were the PR talking points I received. And I'm sure this guy received the same PR talking points and then actually list it out and build a case for your own defense. Sure. But that also would require work and effort that clearly this guy didn't want to do. I can't get over that he goaded on the reporter to get him to go after him more. But anyway, 